Are you struggling with the CPA exam because your course failed to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, where the right teacher makes all the difference. All right, let's look at the auditor's responsibility with regard to other information in annual reports. When we think of the entity's annual report, we think of the financial statements and the auditor's report. When the client's audited financial statements are included in an annual report containing other information, the auditor has a responsibility to read that other information. So you might be wondering what's included in the term other information. Well, according to SAS 137, the CEO's statement, corporate governance statements, these are what we call other information. You might have management's internal control and risk assessment reports or some employment data, names of officers and directors, quarterly data. This is what qualifies as other information. And we said when the client's audited financial statements are included in an annual report that contains other information, what's the auditor's responsibility? To read the other information. Other information is any financial or non-financial information included in the annual report that is not already included in the financial statements or auditor's report. So the exam, they'll ask you what's included as other information according to SAS 137. And here's that kind of question. According to SAS 137, information in the annual report not already included in the financial statements may be considered other information, A, if the information is financial in nature, B, if the information is non-financial in nature, C both, D neither. And the answer is C both because other information is any financial or non-financial information included in the annual report that is not already included in the financial statements or already included in the auditor's report. So particularly we're talking about the CEO's statement, corporate governance statements, management's internal control and risk assessment reports, employment data, names of officers and directors, quarterly data. This is what qualifies as other information. And we said this information could be financial, could be non-financial, and the auditor would have that responsibility to read that other information. So you have to know what is considered other information. SAS 137 also specifies what is not considered other information. The auditor has no responsibility to read IRS Form 5500. What's that? That's the annual report of the employee benefit plan that's not considered other information the way the CEO's letter would be. Neither would corporate responsibility reports. Corporations will publish their social responsibility reports in the annual report. It's good PR. Sustainability reports, these are not other information under SAS 137. The auditor has no responsibility to read these. Also outside the scope of SAS 137 would be the cover letter of the annual report. I see that thrown in sometimes as a wrong answer choice. The cover letter would not be other information. Diversity and equal opportunity reports, product responsibility reports, labor practices and working conditions reports. You can see why companies would want to publish these, but this is not considered other information under SAS 137. They're outside the scope. All right, which of the following data may be included in the definition of other information in an annual report under SAS 137? Letter A, financial data, including the entity's income statement. No, because the income statement's a financial statement and other information has to be something other than what's already in the financial statements. So A's out. C says financial data, including the entity's statement of cash flows. That's a financial statement. So that's not included in other information. B says non-financial data, including the entity's letter from the CEO. That's other information. And the auditor would have responsibility to read that letter from the CEO. So we're going with letter B. The CEO letter is specifically mentioned by SAS 137 as other information in an annual report. Other information could be financial, could be non-financial, but if it's already included in the financial statements or in the auditor's report, then it's not other information. And that's why A, C, and D would be wrong. All right, 
what about this one? As defined by SAS number 137, which of the following is considered other information if included in an entity's annual report? D says the auditor's report. No. C and B are financial statements. If it's already in the financial statements or if it's the auditor's report itself, then it's not other information. So it has to be A, employment data. A is the correct answer. How about this one? Each of the following are considered other information within the scope of SAS 137, except A, the CEO statement. No, that is included. B, corporate governance statements. Those are included in the list of SAS 137 other information. C, management's risk assessment reports. They're included too. So the answer is D, the annual report of employee benefit plan even though that might be in the annual report, that would not be included as other information. According to SAS 137, what's included again? The CEO statement, corporate governance statements, management's internal control and risk assessment reports, employment data, names of officers and directors, quarterly data too. All right, what exactly is the auditor's responsibilities with regard to this other information? We said the auditor is responsible for reading the other information and considering whether there's a material inconsistency relative to the audited financial statements or possibly a material misstatement of fact regarding the other information. So if something's obviously wrong with that other information, if it's materially inconsistent with what's in the audited financial statements, or if it's clearly a false statement, this is what the auditor needs to be alert for when reading the other information. We're not giving an opinion on the other information. We're not giving any assurance on the other information. We're just reading it to determine whether there's a material inconsistency or a material misstatement of fact regarding the other information. So while reading the other information, the auditor should remain alert for indications that a material inconsistency exists between the other information and the auditor's knowledge obtained in the audit, or a material misstatement of fact exists, or the other information is otherwise misleading. So all we're saying here is the auditor needs to read that other information and look for obvious errors, whether it's a misstatement or a material inconsistency. Either of these two situations would concern the auditor enough to take further action, either of which may undermine the credibility of the financial statements and the auditor's report. So when reading the other information, if the auditor determines there's a misstatement of other information, that's when the auditor determines that the other information is incorrectly stated or otherwise misleading. That could undermine the credibility of the financial statements and the auditor's report. Or maybe there's a material inconsistency in the other information, which would involve differences between the other information and information contained in the audited financial statements. Either way could undermine the credibility of the financial statements. So what further action should the auditor take if encountering either of these two situations? Here's the auditor's response. Step one, always bring it to management's attention. Discuss the inconsistency with management. Determine whether a material misstatement of the other information exists, or worse yet, whether a material misstatement of the financial statements exist. So if concluding that a material misstatement of the other information exists, that's an easier change. The auditor simply requests that management correct the other information. If management agrees and changes it, the auditor should verify that the correction has been made. So you bring it to management, management says, oh yeah, we'll fix that. They fix it, you verify it, everything's fine. If management refuses to correct the material misstatement of the other information, then you communicate to governance with a request that they make the correction on their end, but they may not correct it because you already asked management to do it and they said no. Well, if the other information has not been corrected after communicating with those charged with governance, the auditor should withhold the audit report or possibly withdraw from the engagement. But that's not the first step, right? Withholding the audit report, withdrawing from the engagement, that's a later step only if management refuses to make the correction. So going to management would be the first step. All right, Fran CPA is auditing the financial statements of Jump Corp. Fran concludes that other information is materially misstated, but the financial statements do not require revision. According to SAS 137, what's the first step Fran should take? And the answer is tell management, which is letter B. First you go to management. If they correct it, you verify it. If they don't correct it, then you go to governance. Notice C and D could not be right here because of the facts given. The first step is what they asked for. You wouldn't withdraw immediately. 
you wouldn't withhold the order report, you would tell management first. All right, how about this one? According to SAS 137, while reading the other information in the annual report, the auditor should remain alert for indications that A, a material misstatement of fact exists. Yes. B, the other information is misleading. Yes. C, a material inconsistency exists between the other information and the auditor's knowledge obtained in the audit. Sure, all of these. Yeah, the answer is D. While reading the information, the auditor should remain alert for indications that a material inconsistency exists or there's material misstatement of fact in the other information or the other information is otherwise misleading. Any of these would possibly undermine the credibility of the financial statements. All right, let's try this one. According to SAS 137, when audited financial statements are presented in an entity's annual report containing other information, the auditor should what? And if you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you need help with audit reporting or any part of the audit exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75, where the right teacher makes all the difference.